As the world prepared for the dawn of the new millennium and feared Y2K, Trevor Ritchie was about to embark on the most incredible year of his storied career. It would include a magical night at Mohawk Racetrack in which his 15-year dry spell in the Breeders' Crown was obliterated by a trio of wins. That was October 21st, but rewind to August at the Meadowlands, where Yankee Paco became the first Canadian sired horse to win the 75th edition of the $1 million Hambletonian. 25 and three quarters, some great driving. We were just coming off the last turn and somebody took three deep off on my back. And I said, well, it's, it's time to go. <laughs> I don't know what I got left, but it's time to go. And, uh, you know, I asked him to go and he trotted the way we went. Stretch of the Hamiltonian, Yankee Paco. It will be Yankee Paco, the first Canadian side winner. Balance image, Trevor Ritchie, 153 and two. Throughout his 40 year career, Trevor Ritchie has banked more than $3 million in Breeders' Crown earnings and recorded seven wins in Breeders' Crown finals. But it took him 15 years and 15 tries to make it happen for the first time. And when it did, it happened threefold. On the extreme outside, Banker Hall, CJ Secret is asked to go to the bottom of the well. CJ Secret, Banker Hall, Richie's got another one. Banker Hall got it a half a length. I remember in the driver's room that night of the, the finals, I, I was going through my, my chances. And I remember I said to a bunch of the guys, I said, this Aviano mare, she's not gonna be the favorite. I said, but don't discount her. She's got a good shot. She, she hadn't, I don't think she'd won her a lemon and she might not even look that impressive, but I, there was something about her that I can remember. I think this mare is better than her, than people think she is. And um, she ended up winning. Richie joined John Campbell as the only other driver in history at the time to win three Breeders' Crown Finals in one night at one track. You got the best horses, you know, that are out there. You got the best drivers and trainers. Um, and the, the money, of course, it's got a good history behind it. Um, it's just, you know, people want to win the Breeders' Crown, and it's not easy to do. Richie retired from racing in 2014 with more than $70 million in purse earnings and 3,710 driving wins. All told, his exploits in the BC contributed 13 wins, including seven in the finals. But that historic night in October 2000 was one of the key moments in an outstanding career, which was recently celebrated with an induction into the Canadian Horse Racing Hall of Fame. It's here that Richie joined his mentor, Bill Herbert, who helped shape Richie's career, one renowned for its accomplishments as a horseman revered for his thoughtful, considerate, and insightful approach to racing. 